What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another unboxing for you guys. This is another nostalgic retro gaming type unboxing for you guys. This is a collector's edition from Limited Run Games for those gamers who are aware of that company that makes physical, physical games for games that are usually just released digitally. Limited Run Games does physical releases for them and the only way you can get them is through that company. I think there might be another one or so, I, f I forget what they're called, there's other a couple others that do similar things to that. But as you can tell by the thumbnail and um, the title itself, this is going to be for Zombies Ate My Neighbors, which was released back on uh, Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. And it is one of the games I played the most as I was a kid on those consoles anyways, for the fact that I love horror, I am big into horror and video games, so it was best of both worlds. I was like, man, I love this game, it was so fun. This is back when Shaw's, the grocery store, used to rent out video games, I used to rent from there. But man, I'm so stoked. This came out and was released digitally, I'd say probably sometime, maybe like the beginning of last year or so, I can't remember. But Limited Run Games, with collector's editions, they it takes up to over a year or so for them to release their collector's editions. But if you enjoy content similar to this, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, you won't regret it. I also do taste tests, food reviews, all that other good stuff. So anything that is my interest, my hobbies that I wanna share with you guys, I do videos for them, and if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're already subscribed, just to return and to watch another one of my videos, I appreciate it very much, you know I do, but we're going to get right into this, I don't want to ramble too much, but like I said, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors right here, Collector's Edition, it also comes with Glue Patrol, which I've never played, I don't remember the characters' names either, um, I was mostly this dude here, and Axel, where is it? it, Limited Run Games, they usually give trading cards with their Collector's Editions, and there's the card right there with, I can't remember his name, and with the zombie with this famous squirt gun. I Yeah, squirt guns kill zombies, right? But yeah, man, I am really stoked to play this. I've been holding off for over a year. I didn't even buy it digitally because I was like, I already pre-ordered it um, physically. I might as well wait. And the stuff that this content, the contents of this collector's edition, I should say, I should say, I can, I'm so excited I can't even talk properly, but I could not turn this up. I am big into nostalgia, especially when it comes to my main passions like video games, wrestling, movies, stuff like that. I am big on nostalgia when it comes to that good stuff. I could not pass up on this, but we're going to get right into this. Drop some comments down below, guys, if you can relate. If you grew up playing this game, basically. I was born in the mid-80s, so I basically grew up in the late 80s through the 90s. So I guess you can say I'm a 90s baby, partially 80s. So if you're around that time frame, you can relate to this. But I just took the seal off, and here's the box. And there's the side, you get some zombies. It says Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, and Ghoul Patrol. And a little zombie. And his glory is right there. Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, Ghoul Patro uh, Patrol. And there's the back of the box. It's like one of the little mummy zombies. And for those who aren't really familiar with this game, I will be putting like screenshots or video clips or whatnot of these games. And it's a top view type game and you're walking around just trying to, you know, save hostages from... It's basically an apocalypse going on and you're trying to kill the zombies and what other enemies. I think there's a guy that's similar to like Jason Boyd, he's on here. And other characters giving nods to like other horror icons and whatnot. But yeah, I just took the contents out of the box, and I'm going to put this box aside and show you what this comes with. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you would want to call this. It's one of those things that you would spin around and, like, hypnotize you. It's supposed to be similar to, um, I think, the case or whatnot. I'll show you guys in a bit. I can't... I, you are getting sleepy. Ooh. Yeah, I really... It has a weird, funky smell. I don't really know what that's all about and this is just a little bonus footage that I'm just throwing in the middle of this video here I realized what that hypnotized thing was for as I was putting this box back together you can actually get to it like you put it back inside the box the slip cover here and you can spin it around I don't know if you can really see it spinning but that that's I guess what the main purpose is because on the cover of the video game or in the video in the game itself I believe the title screen like has some, it's related to something to do with this, I believe. And of course, for nostalgic reasons, I'm probably going to put this up as display. They did a, 
It's basically a replica of what the Super Nintendo case would look like. Put it together for you guys, just so you can get a little nostalgic going on for you. About the case of what the Super Nintendo games would ship in, basically. Get packaged in. Let's see, try not to destroy this. Alright, here. And here it is, put together. Of course, it's not the original authentic one. It's a replica from Limited Run, as you can see there, and it says Forever Physical. Forever Physical Media, guys, for those who might be watching this and are really not too much into video games, still, physical media right here. Forever Physical, guys. Let's keep it going. Right there in its glories. And of course, it says Zombies at My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol, because that's on here as well. And on the back, you can read that right there. You can pause it if you want, or I can just read it to you. Got some good artwork right there. Enjoy 16-bit console gaming with the cult classic Zombies Ate My Neighbors and its sequel, Ghoul Patrol, and their long-awaited return. 66 Undeadly Levels, featuring two-player mode, achievements, save feature, and museum features. Basically, like, behind-the-scenes gallery artwork and all that good stuff. Lucas Films, uh, Film Games... Man, I'm really stoked to jump right back into this game, getting trophies on PlayStation, because I did get the PS4 version and all that good stuff. And this comes with the soundtrack right here, Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. And on the back there is your track listing. You can pause it if you want to, I can just read it to you. On Zombies Ate My Neighbors, for disc one, you got Weird Kids on the Block, Zombie Panic, Evening of the Undead. No assembly required, Pyramid of the Fair, or Fair, Mars Needs Cheerleaders, Curse of T the Ton, Boss Battle, and Titanic Toddler. Disc 2, the right, the coloring that I can't really read, it says, It's Ghost and Demon's Time, Metropolis 1, Metropolis 2, Metropolis 3, Ming Dynasty, Caribbean 1, Caribbean 2, Medieval World 1, Medi Medieval World 2, Ghost and Demon's World, Robot Guard, and Boss Battle, and Sir Rowley McSpirit. I'm going to open this up because um, most of the time, usually when I get collector's edition, depending on the franchise and whatnot, this goes for like movies, video games, or anything. I'll get the collector's edition if it's something I really want and like, and I usually do open the items. Sometimes I don't, but I usually do, especially if I do unboxings, because I do plan on keeping these, and if for whatever reason I decide to sell them, it's still going to be worth money So sometime down the line, because even though usually limited run... Collector's editions used to sell out, but now they just make whatever pre-order amount that they get. People can order more than one, and they have a cutoff time, so they have pre-orders available for like maybe a couple months. And after that, they're not making any more, so they'll just... That's why it takes so long for them to um, release their and ship out their collector's editions, because they basically make by order. And there's some artwork there. You just saw the disc art that I was showing you guys. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And then on disc two. Ghoul Patrol. But yeah, if for whatever reason I decide to sell this at some point, I'll still get something for it. A decent amount. And there's some artwork right there with the doors that I believe are elevators that usually lead you to different levels. And this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this. This is pretty cool. It's supposed to be a replica of the gun that they use in the game. I really don't want to point it at the camera. I might get banned or something. You never know. It's a little squirt gun. How uh, much? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's got the trigger and everything. It's got the little slot you would put the water in. So this is a real water gun. It's just supposed to be like a replica of the gun that you would... Except this one's blue on the card here. It's red. Let's see... What else do we got under here? I believe there's a couple posters. I'm going to showcase these here for you guys. And here we have the original artwork on poster form for Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And then there is another side right here, which is basically the artwork that I showed you on the trading card. You can kind of see it right there. Fold this back up. And then there's another one for Ghoul Patrol, of course. I never even knew they had a sequel. I don't know. Maybe I just overlooked it. You know, I was young and stupid. 
easily overlook things, but here we got Google Patrol right there. Hopefully it's all in full frame, and then we got the other side. I'm not sure of these characters' names and all that, but... It looks like... Just random horror-related creatures that would be on... Which is in the game, I'm, I'm guessing. Let's see... Try not to put much wrinkles in the posters. I'm not even sure if these are folding up properly, but it seems that way. And then it comes with... Some trading cards that I believe are supposed to be in 3D. Can't remember because it does have some 3D glasses here. You know, like the I forget what they call these, the red and blue ones. Let's try to see. What's up, guys? These fit very odd on my face. I'm gonna see if this is what's it. Yeah, the cards are in 3D. That's pretty cool. I'll show you the cards. Don't worry. But the cards are what in th are in 3D. I like that. It doesn't pop. It doesn't pop that much in 3D, but it's. The glasses is made for the cards. Man, I need a haircut. But here's the card right here. Here's the character I was talking about that's supposed to be similar to like Jason Voorhees, Stanley Decker, the Chainsaw Maniac. It's supposed to be like Jason Voorhees mixed with Leatherface, I guess you can say. And on the back it says Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And here's Mummies of Mummy Fame. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So on the back... Oh, say the game that the character is from, from. And then we got Gilman right here of the Blue Lagoon. Yep, Blue Lagoon. So that one's from Zombies Ain't My Neighbors as well. And then, of course, you got the zombies. All brawn, no brains. Sounds like me. I don't even have brawn. Never mind. I don't even have brawn or brains, I guess you can say. And then here we have Vlad, I think. A real pain in the neck, because he's a vampire. He bites the neck, I guess. Yeah, it gives you a pain in the neck. Oh, 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 one, a two, a three. And then the zombies ate my neighbors. And you got Sherub, Demons. The Anti-Cupid. That's from Ghoul Patrol. That's the back for the Ghoul Patrol cars. Our uh, cards, not cars. Then we have Oozer. Who you gonna? Who you gonna? Huh? I guess called Ghostbusters for Slimer. Supposed to be similar to Slimer, I guess. Who are you gonna call? Oozer. That's from Ghoul Patrol. Now we got Sharks, Finn, the end. That one's from Ghoul Patrol. Then we have the Ghouls. I wonder what that's from. Say, and also Ghost. Ghoul Patrol, of course. Then we got the Spectre Knight of the Living Dead. It's Ghoul Patrol. And then we're back to Stanley Decker. Let's see, I think that might be it. Besides the game anyways. No, that's not it. Just when you thought it was over. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. All right, I'm gonna open up the game. Get some, it's pretty hefty this game here. I wonder if there's just more inside the case, like collectible wise. Here's the game right here. I just took the seal off. It's pretty much the same artwork. Zombies ate my neighbors in Ghoul Patrol. And then the same back artwork. Right here. And then you got your spine. Let's see. Just seems like a manual. And the disc. Mm, the smell of new booklets. Or books or anything of that matter. And there's Stanley Decker. The guy that's supposed to be like Jason Boy. He's all oh, the manuals in 3D too. I don't know if you can tell how it's a little fuzzy. I guess this is other things. Yeah, 3D. Oh, oh, I see. This isn't a manual. This is a 3D gallery. So the cards and this is in 3D. So that's pretty cool. Where's the damn glasses? I wish I can kind of show you guys what this looks like. I don't know. I don't think the camera would pick it up. This is pretty cool. It's a 3D gallery. Like the contents and all that stuff is in 3D. Uh, this is pretty sick. It's actually popping up a little bit more than the cards are, which is pretty cool. Even the controllers, like the pictures here, those are, um, everything's just popping in 3D. This booklet is definitely standing out more 3D-ish than the cards were. Like the characters are, that you see here are all in 3D. This is great. I, I forgot about this, to be honest. More characters. Well, yeah, it's a 3D gallery book. 
Uh, it goes back in the case. I didn't take these off now. I'm like, just getting used to wearing them. I, didn't even, I wasn't even aware of what was going on. Then you got your disc artwork. This says Disney and Lucasfilm Games. Jeez, Disney literally owns everything. There's the disc art. And it's a reversible artwork. I'll, I'll show you guys. I'm not going to use it. It's kind of bland, I guess you can say. But there's the artwork you could switch it to. It's got like purple ooze. And of course you see like the spine there. That might be, I guess, for like Ghoul Patrol maybe. I don't know. I don't really like that one though. Let's see. The artwork I'm talking about, not the game. I haven't even played Ghoul Patrol, so I can't really judge that. Let's see. Is that back properly all right? Let's see. But, but wait, there's more. I'm not done yet. Take it out of the plastic first. I think this is in 3D as well. Well, that's pretty sick. But here we have a still book case. For those still book collectors out there who might be watching this, if you're a gamer, if you get collector's editions, they do stuff similar to that. And it's the same artwork on the inside. So if I wanted to use the still book instead of a regular case, I could. It's pretty sick. I like this. It's in 3D. I don't know if you can really tell just by the way the pictures look. I gotta see this. I wish I could just show you guys what I see. This is pretty sick. Yeah. Still books. It's pretty good 3D. The trading cards are the worst when it comes to the 3D. They don't stand out as much as the still book or the gallery book. But yeah, that I believe is it. Yeah, unless you count this as anything. It's some special cardboard my cat will probably enjoy. But let's see, I put this back. I'll put it all back together. So yeah, that's going to do it for this unboxing, guys. Drop some comments down below letting me know if you know, are aware of limited run games. If you purchase any of their collector's editions, I will be honest. I don't think I will purchase from them ever again just for the fact that this is the longest I've ever had to wait for one. I pre-ordered this back in like June or July of last year. It's been over a year. A year and about like three months or so. And the longest I think I ever had to wait was maybe closer to a year, not past a year. I mean, don't take as many pre-orders, I guess. If you have less pre-orders, have a cutoff limit. And that way maybe you can get things shipped out properly. But this was in their warehouse apparently... I want to say about a month ago or so, and usually it takes up to like a week or two for to get shipped out of the warehouse when it's in their warehouse, but they had it in their warehouse for like over a month, and it just shipped the other day, I believe, so probably not going to purchase, because you're spending like, they take them, they charge your card, they take your money right then and there. I don't want to give them a bad rep, but they've definitely gotten worse. The, you, Like this cost me $99.99, I should have mentioned that to begin with. After shipping and everything, I paid like $120. So they charged my card 120 right off the bat. So that's money I didn't have for over a year. And this wasn't even shipped until over a year later. So I'm probably never going to purchase from them ever again. But just drop some comments down below, guys. If you purchase from Lim Limited Run Games, how you feel about their, you know, overturn, their term, whatever they call it. Whatever term I'm trying to use, like, I don't even know, turning point or whatever, shipping and how quick they get stuff shipped to you. But how do you feel about that? And if you're a fan of Zombies at My Neighbors and Google Patrol, if you have so much of a nostalgic memory with it like I did, man, I just had to get this. I'm so stoked to finally try it out, especially with probably better looking pixels, HD, whatever they did to polish it up a bit. Anything related to this, guys, drop some comments down below. If you got this collector's edition, if you got it digitally, whichever it might be, let's interact about it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, I do all kinds of content similar to this one as well. And if you're already subscribed, then just return it to watch another one of my videos. I appreciate it, guys, but I will see you all in the next one. Take care.